Like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. Humans started growing their first crops around 12,000 years ago. The first plants we grew were things like lentils, barley, and peas. Now we have the expertise to grow exotic flowers with ease. However, there are many plants that humans had to learn to avoid the hard way. Thankfully, nowadays, we have an extensive list and many articles about plants we should avoid at all costs. Here are 10 plants that you should never touch. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Let's get into the video. Number 10. Octopus Stinkhorn Yes, we know what you must be thinking now. This looks absolutely disgusting and horrid. Surely it must be dangerous to us in some way. Well, with that, you are actually wrong. Our first entry on this list is called the Octopus Stinkhorn, and it is easy to see why it would be named after an octopus. As it grows, it develops long finger-like growths that look like tentacles, so scientists named it the Octopus Stinkhorn or the Devil's Fingers. No matter how grotesque it may look, this plant is actually the most harmless on our list today. The reason it is on this list is because you'd assume it was dangerous and avoid it like the plague. There is also a reason why it is called a stinkhorn. It smells like rotting flesh and dog poop. As you approach it, you'll get more than your desired whiff of such terrible odors. It attracts flies with this terrible stench, as it relies on the flies to carry its pores around for reproduction. This is the same idea as how butterflies and bees carry pollen around. This version is just much weirder. Number 9. Porcupine Tomato Just looking at this next one makes it quite obvious as to why you should not touch it. It is completely covered with long thorns, as its name infers. The porcupine tomato is actually a close relative to our red edible tomatoes. You can see a resemblance when comparing both fruit to each other. However, this plant is a much more violent version of our normal tomato plant. The bright orange thorns that grow on it contain toxins, and when pricked by these, our body reacts to the toxins with flu-like symptoms. The fruit is not edible, and when consumed, an adult would likely have stomach issues, leaving them under the weather for a while. While the porcupine tomato can't make an adult seriously ill, it should be kept far away from small children, as eating only one fruit may prove lethal to the child. The best option is to carefully remove these plants from your garden, but only when wearing gloves, of course. These plants may look beautiful, but they're surely something that shouldn't be touched. Number 8. Stinging Nettle A rash from a stinging nettle is similar to a poison ivy one, but stings more, hence the name Stinging Nettle. The rash rash looks like many tiny little bumps on your skin, and of course it itches. Many people only have a mild reaction to the nettle, thankfully, but some are very unlucky and have severe reactions, like difficulty breathing, stomach cramps, vomiting, and a swollen face. The nettle is not the worst plant on our list today, though, and it actually has many uses that are also beneficial to us. For instance, it is possible to make tea or salads with it, despite its stinging sensation. For example, it contains a lot of nutrients like vitamin A and C, and minerals like iron and magnesium. That doesn't mean you should go out into the wild and pick up any random nettles you see, though. Just leave it to the professionals and buy yourself some nettle tea at the store. Number 7. Poison Ivy Many people have experienced poison ivy rashes accidentally, playing in the bushes as a kid or a teenager hiking through the woods when, suddenly, you feel your skin itching and you see it turning red. You probably happen to come across poison ivy. Many are familiar familiar with the name, but usually don't know what it looks like. Our skin reacts with something in the ivy called urushiol. If you wash it off as soon as you get it on your skin, you are less likely to get a rash from it. If you don't, unfortunately, a rash may last multiple weeks. You can treat mild rashes with soothing lotions and cold water, but you may need some prescription medicine if it is severe, especially on sensitive places like your face. Staying away from poison ivy is advised. The rashes are not very pleasant, as you may imagine. Number 6. Hogweed This entry on the list is an invasive species called giant hogweed, which was once dubbed as the most dangerous plant across the UK. It is gigantic, hence its name, and is often very difficult to remove once it has grown tall. Removing it should only be done by professionals who have a specific procedure and the tools to do it effectively. When touched, the sap of the plant will cause severe skin burns and rashes. These burns can often be so severe that the victim has to be sent to a hospital 
hospital, where special treatment will be required. The toxic sap makes your skin sensitive to sunshine, eventually leading to blisters, which can take months to recover at best and years in the worst scenario. Here is how to easily spot hogweed. It often grows near bodies of water, is very tall, and has white blossoms facing upwards in clusters. Avoid this at all costs. If it grows in your garden, make sure to wear a mask, gloves, and long clothes when trying to remove it. Number 5. Oleander This plant is evidence that even the most beautiful flower may be poisonous. No matter how pretty something may seem, it is better to educate yourself before handling something you don't know about. All parts of this shrub are highly toxic, from the flower to the branches to even the smallest leaf. Ingestion of anything on this plant can lead to severe illness and possibly death. This plant is so toxic that even drinking the water out of a vase that held the flower may end in death. In addition, ingesting any part of the oleander plant can lead to a wide variety of symptoms, including skin rashes, blurred vision, stomach pain, vomiting, slowed heartbeat, and fainting. Oleander plants remain toxic even when dried, and a single leaf could be lethal to a child. So, no matter how pretty this flower may be, staying away from it is advised. And if it grows in your garden, don't forget to wear some gloves and wash your hands after dealing with this beauty. Number 4. Water Hemlock this plant is considered to be the most violent toxic plant that grows in North America. Only a small dose of the actual poisonous part of the plant is needed to poison humans and livestock. The poison is the brown sap inside of the branches and is exposed when cutting or damaging the chambers, which store this liquid. Often, the branches and roots get damaged when livestock try eating and chewing the plant, ending up with the animal getting poisoned. When ingested, muscles will start to twitch and pulse, breathing will be rapid, violent seizures will take over the body, and the person in question may fall into a coma. It needs to be treated as soon as possible, as death may occur as early as 15 minutes after a lethal dose is consumed. Even in the best case scenario, death will arrive in roughly two hours. Clearly not a plant to be messed with. Number 3. Woof's Bane Something that even banes wolves is something you should stay far away from. In many tales, this little purple flower was the cure to banishing wolves, or werewolves, to be more exact. When the flower touched the wolf's fur, they would return to their human form. However, this fictional flower does exist, and is not only dangerous for these furry beasts, but also humans. When a non-lethal dose is consumed, a stomach ache will occur. The toxin can numb the face, especially the mouth. When a lethal dose is consumed, the poison will start to paralyze the affected, lower the blood pressure, and eventually stop the heart. Not only is it toxic when consumed, but it's recommended you only touch it while wearing gloves and long sleeves, as the neurotoxins can be absorbed through the skin and still cause cardiac problems. Overall, if a wolf stays far away from this harmless looking flower, so should you. Number 2. Nightshade or Belladonna The Belladonna plant is a poisonous plant native to some parts of Asia and Europe. Many people believe that in the famous Shakespeare play Romeo and Juliet, that belladonna extract was the poison that Juliet drank to fake her death. Back in ancient times, the belladonna, which is also sometimes called deadly nightshade, was used to poison people, either by ingesting it or putting it on the sharp end of an arrow shot at enemies. The plant has as many negative points as it does positive. The toxin in the nightshade can cause hallucinations and delirium, often ending in dangerous situations. Just two little berries may be lethal to a child, while an adult would have to consume 10 to 20 of them. But even eating a single leaf from this plant can prove fatal. In modern use, it is applied to help people sleep or worked into creams. But of course, only doctors should prescribe this to you, as they know what dose is safe. Fun fact, in Renaissance Italy, fashionable women ingested the extract to dilate their pupils, which was seen as royal and beautiful, hence the name Belladonna, which means beautiful woman in Italian. Number 1. Manchineal Our number one plant is considered the deadliest tree in America. If Florida wasn't already dangerous enough, with their alligators taking a stroll in your garden, they are also the home to the Manchineal tree. This tree looks similar to other harmless trees and bears fruit that looks like a small version of green apples. Considering normal human curiosity, 
curiosity, though, you might be tempted to taste that fruit. However, you should stay as far away from the fruit as possible. Well, actually, you should stay away from the tree at all costs. Do not touch it. Do not eat the fruit. Do not stand under it or near it. Don't even breathe. What you should do instead is back up very slowly and then walk away from it as quickly as possible. In two different languages, it is also described as very dangerous. Its Spanish name is Arbol de la Mirte, translating to Tree of Death. Its Latin name is Hippomani Manchinella, translating into Little Apple That Makes Horses Mad. You don't need to hear anything more than that to stay away from it. However, you might still be wondering how bad this tree really is. Well, the sap it contains is highly toxic. If it comes in contact with your eyes, temporary blindness is highly likely. Touching the tree or eating the fruit can be lethal to humans. In other words, stay away from this tree at all costs. Well, that was our list of 10 plants you should never touch. Which one did you find the most interesting or terrifying and why? Let us know in the comments. We would love to hear from you. And don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Until then, we'll see you in the next video.